Some crystals really are magic. So not really, but crystals like quartz, topaz, tourmaline, and many more all exhibit the strange phenomenon known as piezoelectricity. It was first discovered by brothers Jacques and Pierre Curie, yes, that Curie, in 1880. Piezoelectricity is the phenomenon where certain crystals accumulate charge on opposite faces when some sort of mechanical stress is applied to them. Practically speaking, this means that for those crystals, you can literally squeeze electricity out of them. Now just a warning, the explanation I'm about to give is the explanation that everyone gives, so go watch Steve Mould's video on the topic if you want to see it described by a British man. Unfortunately, any more rigorous descriptions or derivations require us to use density functional theory, which is a bit too much for TikTok. Anyway, the magic of piezoelectricity arises from the asymmetry of certain crystal lattices. The idea is that in an asymmetric crystal, the positive and negative charges are not distributed in a way that is mirror symmetric. Perhaps the best example of this is wurtzite, which is a crystalline form of zinc sulfide. In this crystal, the sulfur atom in yellow pulls on the electron slightly harder than the zinc atom in gray does, so the zinc ends up positively charged and the sulfur is negatively charged. If you compress along the c-axis here, each hexagon will also shrink along that axis. So for each hexagon, the middle of the three zinc atoms moves down and the middle of the three sulfur atoms moves up. If those middles were initially overlapping, which they must have been in order to be in equilibrium, that means that now there is more positive charge at the bottom and more negative charge at the top. This is an electric dipole. So all throughout the material, we have little electric dipoles all pointing in the same direction, kind of like a magnet, and so we have a macroscopic dipole, which ends up with a negative charge building up at the top and a positive charge building up on the bottom. If you then connect the top and bottom to a circuit, you have electricity. Now, just as a caveat, this isn't infinite electricity. Once it's compressed, the crystal separates a finite amount of charge proportional to the pressure applied. But if you use that charge to, say, drive a current, that charge is gone. To get more out of it, you either have to squeeze harder or stop squeezing, let the electrons rearrange themselves, and then squeeze again. This neat property of some crystals is super useful too. For example, it can be used to build digital pressure sensors and microphones. And it's also reversible. Applying an electric field causes the crystal to deform. So for example, one can build speakers by making the crystal change shape rapidly by applying an oscillating voltage. So while they're not quite magic, they're pretty close.